these are the group of epoxies that are crude based. Uh, we have West in there, Sickerman, um, SP would also be in there if I had any in the workshop, but there are many others. They are tend to be the older epoxies. They tend to be epoxies that are above a 3 or 4 to 1 mix ratio. So the 5 to 1s, the 6 to 1s, 7 to 1s, some 3 to 1s are all tend to be crude based. They have a few disadvantages in that they produce amine blush or waxing. SP in particular does this. They also tend to have a higher exotherm reaction so you hear of people having pots melted you also have um, stories of people having fires in their pots and pots catching fire on decks of boats and things and I believe there recently was a, an incident where somebody's boat actually caught fire in the yard when they were, when they were doing some epoxy work underneath it the other thing to notice about these is the shelf life doesn't seem to be particularly good. They tend to go crystalline in the bottom very quick. When you see the containers being sucked in, it's a very good sign that the oxygen inside the container has actually been absorbed by the chemical and the chemical is starting to crystallise. The other thing to look at is many of these containers and these crude base ones are quite caustic. You can see that the um, containers um, start to get eaten away quite badly. So this um, is a group that we don't actually use in the workshop anymore and I've um, sort of given it a wide berth. And we've gone over to the other group that we talked about which was the veggie oil based ones which seemed to be much much better and more sympathetic to the user.